I was always his, <laughs> his confidant. He would bounce so many things off of me. Um, and, um, and he was bright and he was, um, he was really deep. And that started at a very young age, like, he would say the, the deepest things and it, it, he would make so much sense. He taught me the true meaning of what it meant to, to really love someone um, without condition. You know, his, his mom, unfortunately, was just, she was just sick. You know, she, um, she, she, she could never shake the drugs and, and no matter what, he never, he never judged her. He never, you know, I would get angry at her for just being so irresponsible, for being, for doing so many things things that were just so thoughtless. And, and he would come to me and he would say, Auntie, she's just sick. You know, don't, don't blame her, she's just sick. And there were so many countless times and, and, and no matter what, he never, he never blamed her. And he loved her. And um, it just really showed me you know, how to love, how, to, how not to, to judge. And I remember one day he, he came to me and he said, Auntie, um, if I never live with a man, I mean, if I never see a man again, it will be too soon or, or something like that. And, and I said, well, what do you mean? And he was just like, you know, every night it was just a different man and, and, and my mom would, have us in a different man's house. And um, I was so sad for him. He, he had experienced things that I've just never experienced, you know, at 10 or eight or nine, living day to day on the streets and in the parks and and so it was very, at that moment, it was important for me to not bring just any man in my home over him because I didn't want him to think that that's what life was about, that I wanted to try to, to give him some type of just true childhood. And, and I wanted him to see you know, what, what, what a real lady is like and, to, and, and how she should be treated and to, you know, to see what a real man is like and, and, and the respect that he gives these women. And, and so it, it altered my lifestyle totally when he came to live with me, but I remember that moment and that really crushed my soul to hear, you know, what he had been through. I don't know if much can change my perception about who Red truly was. I know he was affected by the streets, eventually. They got the best of him. I know that, um, I mean, I could see over time I could see him becoming more distant. And um, I remember a time when I was talking to him and it was just like, just emptiness. And I could see darkness. It was just, he was, he was distant and, and dark and empty and, <laughs> and he was no longer the that sweet little kid. But again, he had taught me so much about love and not to judge that 
who he became could never change my perception of who he was. The thing I do know, though, is that as deep as he was, he had regrets. He had regrets.